the average college student will experience having at least one to two roommates before their college experience is up. Hear what some on-campus residents have to say about their past roommate experiences. I've definitely had roommate problems and I've seen roommate problems with others. Um, dirty dishes, just like not talking, um, drama between two people, three people, whatever. I came home from winter break and then I got tested. I was going to get tested anyways and then turns out I was positive. I told them and then I went home and then they had a group chat and they said I was a terrible person for getting COVID. My roommate's boyfriend kept coming over in the middle of the night. Kind of, um, he was drunk <laughs> and he had like slammed the door, started asking me questions. She had been out of the room and so I felt really unsafe because he was this like tall dude. But um, I tried to talk to her about it and she, because I felt unsafe, and she like kind of just laughed it off. The key to a healthy roommate relationship, communication. Students suggested that having open communication with their roommates helped to alleviate potential problems in the future. A way to get over it, as a psych major, like I've taken classes and we've learned like talk about it, don't accuse, like actually sit down and have conversations. Communication is a big thing and it's really important, except with them there was no communicating. It's once they had an, like, the bad image of you, they didn't want to communicate and they shut the door in your face. So open communication is really important. Always like firstly communicate with them, for sure. For Dixie Sun News, I'm Hannah Hickman.